Hi guys! Today is a really exciting video because it is a collab with my friend Kennedy. Her videos are so great. She's so sweet and so pretty. When she asked me if I wanted to do a collab, I was like, Yes, definitely. What do you want to do? We finally decided to do a collab based around the Anastasia self-made palette. I do not have this palette. Thank you to my best friend Alexa for letting me use this so we could do this little collab. For not owning this palette and just playing around with it a couple of times, I'm really happy with the look that I came up with. Mine is more of a going out look. I wanted to make it a little bit dark and sultry. I don't know what she's going to come up with, but I'm super excited to see what she came up with. And I will have her video linked down below. So make sure you go and check out that. Enough flabbing, I'm just going to dive on in and get started on my night out look using the Anastasia self-made palette. First I'm priming my skin using my Too Faced Hangover X primer to hydrate and also add a little layer of primer and then I'm going in with my NYX Angelville primer to actually prolong my makeup because I feel like my Hangover X doesn't really do that so this helps to prolong it as well as kind of mattify my skin a little bit. Then I'm going in with my Pure Miracle Mist as another layer of primer. Then I'm doing a little bit of color correcting because I had a few red spots. So I'm going in with this green shade from the Coastal Sense Eclipse palette. And then for my foundation, I'm going a little light with my Circa Color Balance BB Cream. It's really, really nice and I love it for dry skin. Just gives my skin a beautiful, natural, glowy finish and I love it so much. You are certainly welcome to go a little bit more full coverage if you would wish, but my skin has been super dry recently and a BB cream is just the best way for me to look living. <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it. Now I'm going to conceal as well as brighten my face up with the Naked Skin Concealer. I'm putting this under my eyes to conceal my dark circles and all along the center of my face to highlight. Then I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend that in and I just love having this is real time because you can see how it just melts in to my skin. I don't know. I love this concealer so much. Then I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder on my beauty blender and using that to set my under eyes as well as anywhere that I put the concealer. This is my favorite way to quote unquote bake. And I'm also going in on either side of my mouth because I get smile lines there. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. eyebrow kit for my eyebrows, not going super in depth with them. My BH Cosmetics Smooth Canvas Primer, as usual, to conceal my eyelid veins as well as prime them for my eyeshadows, and then I'm setting it with my RCMA No Color Powder, just so that everything blends out beautifully. For this look, as I said earlier, I'm using the Anastasia Self Made Palette, and I'm taking Buttery first in my crease as my transition shade. This wouldn't do a lot on other people, but I'm pale enough that it really, I mean, it pulls kind of orangish, which is interesting. But yeah, it's just a cream colored shade, using that as my transition. Then I'm taking the color Sherbert, really, really blown out in my crease. And I think this color is beautiful as a transition shade. I really hope you can't hear that power machine that's outside. I will be ticked if you can. But yeah, taking that on my E40 and you can see what I'm doing here, just really blowing it out. I love the look of a peachy orange in the crease as a transition color. It's just so beautiful. Now for my lid color, I'm taking the color Hot Chocolate, I think is what it's called. Yes, Hot Chocolate. And I am packing this on. This took quite some time to get it all packed on because it showed up a little bit patchy on my eyelid. And I think that's just because it is such a dark, dark brown color. It has this brick tone to it and I just... I don't know. I love this color. This color is what inspired me to do the darker, sultry look. And I think it's beautiful. You just have to be really careful. Put on your patient pants, as Jay Kissa would say, and pack it on. 
don't go too high in the crease because it could start to look like a black eye and don't go too much in the corner of your eye because again, don't want that black eye look. Now I'm taking the color Buttery on a very fluffy pencil brush for my under eyes and thin sherbet and basically doing exactly what we did up top down below, so blowing out sherbet a little more than Buttery was. And I'm also connecting Sherbert a little more with the winged look I have up top, as you can see here. Easier to see than explain. Then I'm taking hot chocolate on a more dense pencil brush and placing that right along my lower lash line for some definition. And then smudging it out with that same fluffy pencil brush I was using earlier. I wanted the inner corner highlight to be a little bit more intense, so I took the colored treasure on my finger. And then for the brow bone, I didn't want it too shimmery, so I just took Bella White. And then I am taking my Starlux Pro liquid liner and lining my top lash line. And then I decided I wanted to do a little bit of a wing. A very tiny wing, you can wing it out a lot more if you would like to, but I'm digging the smaller, more subtle wings recently. <laughs> Something about them, they're just so much easier to do. And then for my lashes, I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, I think is what it's called, Lights Camera Flashes, I don't know. And laying that on, and then I try to take the lash fibers that they have, and then I try to sandwich it in with the mascara once again. I have to say I do not like this, it did not work, and the fibers went everywhere. That little system didn't do much at all for my lashes, so I am layering on a little bit of my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara to help separate them as well as make them a little bit longer looking. And for blush, I'm taking the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the color Baby Doll and just putting that on my cheeks for a hint of pink. And for highlighter, I of course had to take Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. I just did a video on these highlighters, so if you're interested in seeing that, I'll have that linked down below, of course. And you can, I mean, it just speaks for itself as I apply it. Then I decided to go a little bit more extra, and I am extending my inner corner a little more with my ma not mascara, that's an eyeliner, good job Bethany. But you can see what I'm doing, and then I'm lining my tight line and my water line with a black eyeliner. And then for my lip color, I wanted to go a little bit darker, so I am using my Ofra and Manny collab in the color Hypno love this color guys and then i decided that i wanted my blush a little more rosy than it was rather than a soft pink i think rose looks a lot better with the look a little darker sultry so i'm taking my milani romantic rose blush on my cheeks and i think it just completes the look a lot more then i'm taking my pure miracle mist again to set my makeup and that is the final look so thank you guys so much for watching So that was a completed video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, like I said before, go check out Kennedy's video. This is a collab, so you need to see the second half of it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. I will see you all in my next video. And in the meantime, make sure to spread some positivity. Bye.